of eight teaching horses out here. And the goal was to get the students back doing physical exams, practicing how to put a halter on, practicing how to um, walk, lead a horse, and just get their hands back on those animals after they've had the summer break off. My experience is really good. Everyone was super informative and it's really great to get hands-on experience this soon into starting classes, so I really liked it. Getting to auscultate the lungs and heart and um, again, getting a hands-on experience with trying that physical exam on a physical horse. I have to give her a little more enforcement. Again, she's like the puppy. <laughs> uh, my experience today was pretty cool. Um, coming into this, I guess I could say I'm maybe someone that was a little bit intimidated by horses, but um, just kind of working with them throughout the day, you get to see kind of really how gentle they actually are. And it was just really cool to maybe have my perspective changed a little bit throughout this day. Uh, my experience was great. I love being around horses. I've been to the horse farm many times. Um, and my favorite part was walking the horses and seeing everyone who isn't comfortable with horses finally become comfortable with them. We really want the students to build because repetition is so important. If we don't have the basic skills, it's always hard to recall and build and become um, closer and closer to that really thorough doctor. In the third year, now we're going to ask them, okay, so the heart rate in this horse is this, what if it was that? Is this normal or abnormal? If it's abnormal, what are your possible differentials? What diagnostics would you like to run? And potentially, what is your treatment plan for that number one differential? So I really loved being able to pull back that knowledge from first year, second year of that school, um, the review that we've done over the past two weeks and really apply it um, and kind of integrate it all together. I have a lot of experience with horses. My, most of my experience is in small animal. Um, so even though I don't intend on going into large animal medicine, it's really important for me to at least feel comfortable and have some sort of knowledge base to be the best vet I can be uh, upon graduation. One of my struggles was feeling digital pulses on the horses, so uh, Dr. Shakota was able to come over and help out um, and help me feel that, which was awesome. Um, sometimes we forget what an honor it is to be in the veterinary profession and the impact that we have, and so it's it's nice to have those moments with the students and talk about that and how special and unique our profession is and, and just what a joy it is. So I really enjoy just seeing the excitement on the students' faces. I'm really passionate about the horses, so anytime you get to touch a horse, it's therapeutic for me. Um, it's therapeutic for me to see this, the students enjoying the horses as well. Um, and so I really enjoy getting out of the clinic and seeing some healthy animals and spending time with the students.